A new female Preswalski's horse was born at the El Paso Zoo this week. The newborn filly already has a strong bond with her mother, and our team caught up with the newborn, putting her running skills to the test earlier today. ABC 7's Katie Frazier got the chance to see the young filly and has more on the conversation, uh, con uh, conservation efforts to protect this endangered species. Right now, you are looking at the newest member born here at the El Paso Zoo. Just on Tuesday, that is a female Przewalski horse. The El Paso Zoo is a front runner in the conservation efforts of this species. And one day, they hope that they could reintroduce the species back to its native territory. We've been involved with Przewalski's horses for uh, pr a little over 10 years. John Casita, the animal curator at the El Paso Zoo, focuses on the conservation of endangered species. The Przewalski's horse is an endangered species, and conservation efforts like shipping the animals to their native territories are being impacted by global events such as the war in Ukraine. Because of the war and other things, uh, that was no longer possible, so now they're going to other uh, American Association Zoo and Aquarium facilities, so, but hopefully one day we'll be able to get that going again and we'll see more Priswells because he's out in the field, out in the wild. Back in the 1960s, the Prague Zoo in Europe took charge on the conservation efforts and began to breed the animals to return them to the wild. Currently, none live in the wild unprotected. Now, that mission still stands, even here in El Paso. Have animals go to a reserve, whether it's in Mongolia, whether it's in Russia, but get more animals into a, uh, a reserve, preserve situation, semi-wild, but some management, and have them start reproducing in the wild, which is where you want all wild animals to be. Casita shared he thinks once global conflicts ease, they could start exploring options on returning the breed back into the wild. Who could have known that a conflict over 6,000 miles away has a direct impact right here in El Paso, impacting our El Paso Zoo? If you want to come and see mama and baby, you should come here and you could buy tickets by finding this story on KVIA.com. For now, reporting from the El Paso Zoo, Katie Frazier, ABC7.